welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about how to build LLM models in SketchUp. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Heavymat has a SketchUp plugin that helps designers create model area in SU. Let's begin with SketchUp Open. The first thing we need to do is to inquire the Heavymat plugin. Please open the extension warehouse. Then search the keyword INX and click on the install button and follow the instructions that allow the plugin is ready to use. Here's the Evimat toolbar. The first thing we need to do is to create the Evimat layers, including buildings, vegetations, and soil layers. To initialize the layers, Please click on the button on the left hand side of the tuba. Then we can see the initial layers here. The next step is to set the geographical information of the location. Click this button to define the latitude and the longitude. Similar as in Avimat spaces, now we need to create Avimat grid. Please click the button here. Now you can see your mouse changing into a red box. Then left click to define one corner of the grid area on a particular location. The next click will place the offset of the Evimat grid area. Once the grid area has been defined, we need to select which kind of grid we want to have. We can see the options here. For most model areas, we select the third one combined, so we input 3 and the press enter button. This is the Avimat grid edit window. The number of these cells is the number of vertical grids in the model area. The following three are the resolution of each direction. The telescoping grids allows to cover much more height without running out of grid points. This grid should be used if the model domain has high objects such as skyscrapers. These four additional cells are unnecessary to add in now. Once we are satisfied with our grid, then click OK here. Now the grid area has been created. If you want to delete it and create a new one, Click to select the grid area and click on the eraser button here. Now we need to input our Avimat library. Please click this button here. Select the main Avimat folder. Then click select folder. Now we can create the landscape elements in our grid. If you want to create a building, we need to select the In Building Avimat layer. Clicking right and you can see a pencil on the building layer here. Now we can create a building. Once the building has been created, please select it and click on Create Avimat Building button. Here's a little tip. Please make sure that all the facades and the lines are selected, or it will make a wrong simulation result. Here you may define the wall and the roof material by selecting their ID. This is inconvenient since the name of material is not displayed in SketchUp. Maybe we should open the data manager for reference. Once you are satisfied with your settings, please click on OK. Now the building is a Navimap building. You may also define soil type in this plugin. Please choose the In Soil Avimat layer and click on the right hand side and make sure the pencil is shown. 
you may define the soil area and select it and choose the soil material and then create the element soil. For 2D and 3D plant, the operation are the same. Similar as above, we can only see the ID of each tree and cannot see their name and the geometry in SketchUp. So maybe we can plant trees in never mass spaces. If you want to change your Evermat element, please select it and click on the eraser button. You may delete it first and then you can edit and create a new Evermat element. Okay, the last thing is to save our model. First, we need to save our SketchUp file in our Evermat project folder. Next, we need to click on this button to export the Evermap objects. Please save it in the Evermap project folder as well. Finally, we need to save our model area as a normal INX file. Now we can open the INX file and see our model area in Evermap spaces. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye bye.